Yo, right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, your coach for the Bristol City Blazerkins, and we are here today to play another UCL LC match against Kristen, or Cuddle of Death, the coach of the Tulsa Talon Flames. Now, I am super scared because after last week, you know, we took a pretty damn hard beating after thinking we were so well off and so ready to win the game that we were about to win, we got swept by one Pokemon. One Pokemon took out five up Pokemon, which just goes goes for the little bit, which just goes for show that uh, LC is a very, very different tier um, and anything can happen. Literally anything can happen in this tier. So I have to be super, super careful. Um, I'm not really sure what Chris is going to be. I'm actually going to remember to take a picture this time with my phone. I'm going to open up, I'm going to load myself up Snapchat real quick. And Oh, she didn't bring the Pumpkaboo. You know, Pumpkaboo was one Pokemon I was kind of worried about because uh, having Bunnelby on the team uh, that would be one of the, the checks, one of the, one of the biggest checks with, with Bunnelby. Because um, Bunnelby, uh, like I can sit there and re return sweep. But this, I can literally sit here and return sweep. The only thing I have to worry about is the Timber with a Mark Punch, um, and maybe Slowpoke and Coughing, maybe now that to eat those, those hits up. But I do have a defensive Ekins with me today, uh, Snape with Intimidate, which is super, super useful. Um, but who do I lead off with? That's the question right now. The Ponyta is also something very, that's very, very, very scary. Um, and I, I honestly think that the best move for me to make is to lead with my Bunnelby because it's the safest play. If she leads off with Ponyta, then I can literally hit that thing so hard. Um, if I bring something and then she brings the Ponyta, or I can maybe lead off with Snape. Snape's another choice, um, but then then again, there is the um, uh, Slowpoke possible lead as well. But <clears throat> can Slowpoke learn? Hazards, I think it might be able to. Timber might be able to learn it as well. But I think I think the safest um, opening Pokemon is probably Timmy the Bunnelby because I can U-turn everything um, apart from the uh, Mark Punching Timber. If that's the case, then I can potentially just switch into Snape, get the Intimidate off, and then wreck havoc. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit confirm and see how this goes. You know, <laughs> LC like I said, it's not my tier. Wi-Fi battling, to be fair, isn't my thing. So uh, I am kind of. Wondering what's gonna go on here in this battle today, but Let us see what she leads off. She leads off the fat Goku, which is the slowpoke Now the one thing that Timmy can't learn unfortunately um, is Knockoff which was definitely uh, a pain in the ass. I was really really upset with that Um I tried teaching it knockoff and it's like alert. It's either a move that she can, he can only get at a later day or or something along those lines um, and it's a pain in the ass. It basically just, it's just, it's like, I could have knocked him off right here, got rid of the Eevee light and been super, super happy with it. But fortunately, can't do that. Um, now I want to U turn into my uh, Gothita. I think that's probably the safest play because it's probably going to go for Willow with Scald. Uh, well, not Scald. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Scald. I could potentially bring out Mark Beak. Um, but I don't remember what moves I gave it. I gave it Fire Blast and Hidden Power. Um, and what Hidden Power did I give it? I gave it Hidden Power Electric. So I can potentially bleed, uh, go into this. What am I thinking of Will-O-Wisp? The Slowpoke can't learn Will-O-Wisp, it's probably going to use Scald. Um, so the best Pokemon I can bring in is maybe Reginald. Did I put an Eevee Light on Reginald? I think I did. I did bring out, I did do that, I did do that. So I could potentially go into Reginald right now. Um, I just think that might be a good idea. I'm going to do that. I know Slowpoke can learn Flamethrower, so I have to be very, very careful about that also. So there's a Trick Room. Okay, so that changes things a little bit, because with the Trick Room up, um, a slow, slow poke's probably gonna go ahead and just flamethrower me. Um, I'm gonna go with this. I know it can get flamethrower. I don't know if it's gonna run flamethrower. Flamethrower would do like a clean fifty percent to me. Um, another thing on my team. Outspeeds or under speeds a slowpoke at this point. Um, I could sit here with Snivy and go for the Leaf Storm. A knockoff, it won't actually kill, so I think Leaf Storm's the safest play to go for. Um, nothing on my team is like negative in speed, so I guess I should just go ahead and use Leaf Storm. And, I mean, I can survive a hit, so I might just go ahead and I do have Giga Drain as well. Actually, if I'm gonna attack second, I should probably go for Giga Drain. I run Giga Drain for the health uh, recovery as well. So if I run, if I use Giga Drain. That will kill also. So I think I'm gonna do that. I might be able to get some HP back depending on what move she goes for. Okay, so she's gonna switch out. I didn't plan on keeping this thing in to be fair. It's gonna emphasize and go into this little guy. Now the thing is, when it comes to 
I should have knocked off. When it comes to this coughing, I run HP Psychic to count to counter this thing. But I think this is this is gonna outspeed me because because of Trip Room, um, which I didn't I didn't foresee whatsoever. So what can a coughing do to me? Sludge Bomb is gonna do quad. Um, quad is gonna do like eighty five percent. I could bring in my Snape. Which is my Ekans, I just type Snape into the damage calc. And I can eat hits. The only issue is, is that I really don't have anything on my Ekans in order to, um, def I don't know. I don't know who to go into right now, because it's gonna sludge bomb, it's gonna hurt. It's really gonna hurt. I'm running Eviolite. Uh, 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 I think I should be. I honestly think I should be okay. I just, I just, I just need to save HP for Pokemon later on. <sighs> I don't want to lose Snivy now. I don't want to lose Snivy now. I think I'm gonna have to go into Snape for now. I need, to, I need this Trick Room to die down. I need the Trick Room to go away. I'm gonna. This is the only option I really have. So I'm expecting the Sludge Bomb. I'm expecting the Sludge Bomb right here. So she does go for it. And it does three. I, I, I can deal with that. Um, I don't know what this thing's gonna go for instead. I mean, it has Willow, so that's the only other thing I can really think of. I could potentially go into Mark Beat, predicting the Willow, um, and then protect and stall out the the, uh, the Trick Room, which might be a smart move. So I'm actually gonna do another switch and go into um, Mark Beak very very quickly. Let's see if this doesn't. Okay, cool. So, with that, I can pretty much freely go for a Protect. Just stall out the Trick Room a little bit more. Um, which is probably easy, easily read. I could have maybe um, switched out again. <coughs> but it might have been a little bit risky. Protect is like a guaranteed... <coughs> excuse me. A guaranteed protection against it. I just need to stall out these turns of... Trick Room. Go for protect, there we go. And now she goes for a sludge bomb. The twisted dimensions return to normal, sweet! So, um, we can see this thing's going for sludge bomb. Uh, I could potentially baton pass um, into someone right now. Um, how much would a fire blast do from a Torchic? Mm -mm 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 -mm. A, um, let's have a look. So that's not strictly my set. A Torchic, um, I am, I don't have Life Orb on. Let me just remove that. Um, but Fire Blast means we're like 61%. Hmm, do I want to stay in and hit it? Do I want to stay in and hit it? What Pokemon does she have? What Pokemon does she have? I mean, two hits would we'll knock this thing out. Um, does Ponyta get Flash Fire? Does Ponyta get Flash Fire? It does. So I think I should baton pass. I think that's the safest play right now. She doesn't switch out. So either Will O Wisp predicting me a baton pass. Um or a sludge bomb's coming my way. Hmm. <laughs> I think my Gathita can take the hit. And I do have rest. So that's not much of an issue. If I go into Goth Eater. So I'm going to be like 57%. Uh, a Psychic will kill this thing. So I'm going to go into it. I'm going to come into Goth Eater. I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. Which does. Okay, cool. Um, what I'm going to do, because I know she can't switch out on me right now, is I'm going to go for a Calm Mind. So she's stuck in. Because Shadow Tag is not banned in LC. Crazy tier! Um, so if I can get Carmine off right here and she goes for, I don't know. If she gets um, a Sludge Bomb up and poisons me, I can go for a rest. Um, and obviously Sludge Bomb is going to do less damage this turn now. So I'm free to sit here and set up against against this, this coughing. And I have Shadow Ball for coverage as well. I have to stay asleep for the full two turns. Sludge Bomb is now going to do a critical hit. 
very fortunate on her part. Um, I'm pretty much free to go for a psychic here, and then I'm making maybe rest up. Oh my god, you're stylus. Then I can maybe rest up next turn. Um, um, so I'm plus one speed, um, special defense, and special attack. So I have the rest. Do I rest? I, I might. I could play for the rest. I need full HP, so I'm, I am gonna. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for a rest. Now I could have ran Sleep Talk over, um, could have ran Sleep Talk over Shadow Ball, but she had a couple Pokemon that were gonna cause me uh, a bit of grief. Actually, wait, that did six damage. That's gonna put me back down. Hmm. If she gets one critical hit, I'm fridged. Kind of wish I ran Sleep Talk now, a little bit. At the same time, though, I am wearing away at PP, I guess. Um, Sludge Bomb's doing six damage, so I am gonna have to <laughs> hope that she doesn't get... Oh my god, okay, I have to basically hope and just pray and just let, like, you know, it's not gonna screw me up. She can't do anything but Sludge Bomb. How much, does, how much PP does Sludge Bomb have? It did more than I thought it was gonna do, you know? It has 10, so 16. I'm just gonna sit here, and I'm just gonna- I'm gonna Psychic, I think. As soon as I wake up, because that Sludge Bomb's gonna do... 6 damage. So it's doing 6 damage each time. Uh, I- I- I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I rested, I should've just taken the kill whilst I could. Maybe I thought after the Calm Mind it wouldn't do too much damage, but this is LC, and the- the percentages don't make much of a difference. Okay, so we're good. I think I am just gonna hit her with the Psychic, and just get rid of this coughing now. Because if I can get rid of it, that'd be good. Won't have to worry about Snivy being in trouble anymore. So if I clear this thing out now, let's just clear him out real quick. Uh, the only thing she can bring in to to screw with me is probably the. Well, she's gonna have to bring something that's faster than me, right? Which will either be Ponyta or the Timber. And Timber's probably got Mark Punch. Um, now I could potentially save Gothita later on, for later on because it is, a, it is quite kind of quick and if, I, if it ha happens to be sent out against Slowpoke then I can potentially rest back up, use another Calm Mind and then um, be off again. So, with the Coffin removed, I should have just gone for the attack straight away, I don't know why it was such a silly play, giving her more of a chance to take me down. Live and learn, <laughs> live and learn. So, she goes to 9 months, which is Solosis. I mean, I can just Shadow Ball this thing. How much is it? Hold on. So low, sis. Right, and I go... Hold on, what's my... What is my, um... My modest? I'm timid. So if I go... Hold on, if I just go... Timid. And I'm plus one special attack. Right? And I have... Shadow Ball. A, sh a plus one Shadow Ball to this thing, it's gonna do like 63%. And I already know she wants to get the Trick Room back up. <clears throat> and a Shadow Ball to me is gonna do a lot of damage also. Um, do I wanna sack this thing off? Do I wanna sack this thing off? Because well, she's, well, she's like, gonna set up a Trick Room. I think I'm gonna have to go for the Shadow Ball. I'm gonna have to go for the Shadow Ball right here. I need to get as much damage off as possible. Which isn't gonna take it out, which is fine. Do get the special sp death drop, which is great, but she is gonna go for a trick room here. Okay. So, my question is If I bring out a Bunnelby, Psychic is gonna kill the Bunnelby in one hit. Holy shit. Um. So at this point, I'm dead. That much is obvious. I can't do anything uh, with the extra speed right now, so I'm gonna have to let it go down. I could have switched into Bunnelby. Oh my god! I should have switched into Bunnelby because um, the Shadow Ball wouldn't have affected it at all. But I can come into Timmy real quick now, or even Larry and Aqua Jet. To be fair, um, it's probably a better idea actually. Would um, what is his name? Corfish. An Aqua Jet would do enough 
to take it down. So I think I'm gonna go into Larry real quick. Uh, I'm free actually to go for a D dance right here. I should be more. I should no 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 no. I should wait. I should wait before I D dance. I'm gonna Aqua Jet. Um. Priority moves are so useful when it comes. This is a really well built, well, well built team. The trick room though is um got to be spaced out correctly or got to be used correctly because she has a pony to it and that's quick. Like that will completely backlash on her. If she brings up the pony to, um, but if I aqua jet this thing, it should kill. And if it doesn't, I get it the second time around, so it's not a problem. Um, actually, did I make my core fish? Wait. Oh, this might change. I just realized I made mine jolly, not adamant. Oh, no, it still kills. <laughs> it's LC. Like, it literally doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it's so crazy. Right, so I'm gonna aqua jet this thing. Boop, and it's dead. Cool. Cool. Larry is out here. Um, now, looking at the team, I think her safest move would probably be to bring out maybe Slowpoke. I could D dance and then knock off, maybe. I don't know how much damage, I don't know if I can kill the Slowpoke from its range, because obviously it has regenerator, so... Uh, Knockoff does about half health, so if I did a D-Dance... Um, if I did a D-Dance, it would do 60, maximum 66%, which I don't think is enough. Um, but I could potentially knock off and then follow up with an Aqua Jet afterwards, once the Eevee Light is removed. Maybe. It really does make a difference. It's so weird, like, the, the percentages are, like, so fixed. Even if you, like, not the, the, take the, um... Eevee light off, it only goes up by like 4 or 5%. It's ridiculous. Let's see here. Yeah, so she's gonna bring out this little guy. Um, now you are a, what are you? You're a timber. And you've got, you're gonna run bulk up. You're gonna run bulk up. No, I don't have crab hammer because I'm... Not real. I want to wait. I want to miss. And um, the waterfall doesn't actually have a guaranteed chance to kill. Um, but I do have a check to this. So let's go into Snape. It might run EQ, but I'm gonna run into. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into Snape real quick. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna get that attack drop RQ. And he uses a bulk cup. Huh. Okay. I didn't foresee this, actually. Uh, I got the Intimidate off, which is great. And I guess the only thing I can really do is burn through turns. Uh, I know it can run Guts. And I don't have a Psychic-type Pokemon. I have Reginald, but... Uh, I might just Gunk Shot it. I'm just gonna hit with the Gunk Shot. Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh, it's bulking up again! It's actually kind of scary. Oh my god, actually, that's really... Oh, this is not good! Oh my god, this is not good. Um, the only thing I can really do right now, I think I should glare it. I know that the Guts is there, and it's got it's got Muck Punch. Oh, that's so scary. Oh my god, that's so scary. Oh my god, I can't make this much worse, can I? Because it's just going to keep bulking up. I'm going to glare it. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to YOLO it. I'm gonna glare it as it bulks up more. Oh my god, this is insane! I'm pushing this. This is so. This is so risky. I can't do anything. <laughs> I literally can't do anything. I just need to hope that I get a crit. I missed again. Hey. <laughs> okay, so the knock. Oh wait, I don't think she's guts. I just ate that. Like I literally just ate that knockoff. Unless it's because I'm impish, or my custom set's throwing her off, or whatever. Yeah, knock a, a, a gunshot, boom. Nice. That was a crit. Yo! That's what I want to see. This thing doesn't have recovery apart from Drain Punch, I think. And because it's not attacking first, I should be okay. It Drain Punches me, it gains 3 HP. So I can come in with someone else after this, and I can, I can either Aqua Jet or... I can come with Bunnelby, actually. Oh wait, I can't come in with Bunnelby, actually. Never mind. I 
I just realized all my priority Pokemon are physical attackers. Which is really scary. Which is really <laughs> voice break, which is really scary. Um, I definitely have screwed up a little bit here. I definitely have screwed up a little bit here. Mark Punch. I think I can eat that. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. She doesn't. Uh, so she's. Okay. Um. I mean, I can go into. Um, oh my god, uh... I can potentially go into Torchic and I can potentially Fire Blast and hope that she gets paralyzed. That's the risky move. Um, Timmy can come in and it can quick attack but her defense is at plus four, plus three, I lost count. I can go into Reginald, I can HP Psychic it and that will knock it out guaranteed. Actually, I even think... Um... I've forgotten its name, Snivy. And Leaf Storm would do like, oh my god, actually Leaf Storm doesn't even guarantee a kill. Oh my god, this might be bad. This might be bad. Um... Is a Mark Punch gonna kill me at plus, is it plus three? It doesn't. Actually, it doesn't. I'm gonna go into Reginald. HP Psychic doesn't kill. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a Leaf Storm. Actually, should have gone for Giga Drain. Should have gone for Giga Drain. I can't go for Giga Drain. I would have got some health back. Actually, I don't know if I would have got enough health back to, ju to justify. Hit him with this leaf storm snipe. Hit him as hard as you can. Yeah, I, I kind of saw it coming. Okay, be paralyzed. Drain punch. Shit. Oh my god, all the health back. Yo, I shouldn't have let this thing set up. Why did I do it? <laughs> Why did I let her do it? Oh my god, I shouldn't have let her do it. Um. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I thought I messed up, man. I'm bad at this tier. Oh no, why did I let it set up? Fire Blast might kill it, might. That's some big that's a big might. That's a big freaking might. And I might even miss the fire blast. This is down on me. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I can't watch, I can't watch, I can't watch, I can't watch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Should have brought Torchic out first. Oh, I should have brought Torchic out first. It would have killed. We're back at square one. I've lost two Pokemon. I'm so stupid. Oh, I hate myself so much right now. You have no idea. I really, really, really am upset with myself. The only thing I can do right now. The only thing I can do right now is just hope and pray that it, she gets paralyzed, because I can't do anything. Waterfall doesn't guarantee kill.
I need to D dance and I need to hope. That's 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 the best luck I've got. Because if I waterfall, I can I have a chance. I have a chance of killing it. I have to D dance. And I have to. D -dance. Ah. I I'm, just fuck it. Fuck it. If I don't do it, I can't win. So I'm just gonna do it. Fifty-fifty chance. <laughs> not lucky enough. I am not lucky enough. Apparently. So now she's at almost full, and I'm plus one Aqua Jet. If I can get a crit, then maybe. But other than that, we're screwed. There it is. So basically, I lost because I um, tried to. Um, the bet on the paralysis. I tried to. I should have brought Torch again first and flame through it instead of bringing in Snivy um, and trying to leaf storm it um, with the off track. With Fire Blast, would have guaranteed killed this thing. Um, I have to go for return here if I want to win. It has to be paralyzed, and it's not paralyzed, so I can't win. I probably could have. I could have quick attack right there, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't have killed. I had to just return sweep, and I couldn't get it because she might broke through five turns of paralysis. I know. I, hashtag no luck, Luke. You know. I definitely set myself up right there for a beating when the timber- I let the timber just go for bulk ups. There was not much I could do. Um, although I don't think status increase or stat increases don't actually- they don't really affect the stats a great deal unless you get like a lot. Um, so what I should have done is switched out as soon as I saw the bulk ups and just gone into someone and tried to deal with it. Um, and maybe not let go of Gothita so soon when I could have used it maybe to defend against this thing. Uh, it was all in all really unlucky of me for her to break through like six turns of paralysis. Unfortunately, all I needed was one and I would have put it, been able to take down the uh, timber. But there you go. I, I don't know. I didn't know what to do in the situation, I guess. It's just it's just down to pressure and turns on the, and stuff. I just I'm really disappointed in myself as well, honestly. Especially I think also with the fact that I haven't battled in a while. Maybe playing into that as well. I'm not really into that competitive mindset again. Um, but uh, Kristen did definitely play very, very well. And uh, I, I do highly suggest you check out her channel linked in the description below. And you can go check out her side of the battle. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck next week. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.